the first ferro cement video for YouTube for Fantastic Ferro Cement, the book, and uh, sort of more up to date. This is how we do it in 2020. And I'm Peter Harris, and here is some of the things we've built in Gisborne, New Zealand, um, uh, except for this, which is from the cafe, which we built in Northland, and there it is up there. It's been bought and <clears throat> changed a lot and added to, but we started it, and there it is, and uh, we ran an organic cafe there. So that's in the book, Fantastic Ferris and Men. But here, since then, we've been doing things like railings and all sorts of things for garden that I hadn't done before, and Ferris Cement has handled it fine. The little, our little grandkids can climb on there. Here is the project, the, the beginning of the project we're on right now, and Haley is my camera lady, and she is helping me uh, make these, these goods, or hue for, in the Maori, for... Uh, for a uh, public um, memorial of the first landing of Maori who brought the hui. And uh, <coughs> so, uh, where are we? Yeah, let's go. I'll show you the workshop. And this is just the first sort of run, run by. And uh, <coughs> we'll do more. And a few more points and sort of focus on particular uh, techniques and, and uh, tips and tricks for making ferro cement better and quicker. So, uh, sculpture, you can make a fairly thin thing, 10 mil, 10 mil deformed rod, um, and uh, 6 mil, 6 millimeter, or quarter inch, roughly. And chicken wire, of course, the usual, the, the, uh, the thing that makes it ferro cement is that it's got different sizes of reinforcing going right down to chicken wire, which is very fine and not much cement uh, coating. It's quite thin, but you can add layers and carve into them. But So this one, he looks a bit skinny, but of course you build up a bit. And uh, so he's, he's uh, just about ready to start thinking about plastering him. So you can see how, how strong it can be. Like at the moment, it's it's like that, but once it's plastered, you could climb on it. Here's one here that we've done recently in Gisborne. So since Utopia, we've got into different finish. Um, this here is like a bronzing that's just copper sulfate uh, solution rubbed on, and it's uh, the final coat was had no sand. And there's some wonderful Indian sculptures that are, and sculptors in India that, and they're on YouTube too, and they make all sorts of gods and goddesses and sculptures, and they're amazing just with, um, just with a little wee spatula thing and just cement and water, and uh, they can make really smooth and detailed things. So that there, grandson's climb on that, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a sculpture and getting, going to get a base. But anyway, so here's where we make the hui um, framework, uh, chicken wire roll, so all that I'm going to cover more in the next edition of Fantastic Ferris Man. So we made this big platform here so that we could um, have a trap door and get into our, into our, our hui. Because when you're doing a big sculpture, you want to be able to get inside it if possible and plaster from the inside. So that's what we, uh, that's why it's got a hole there and that'll be underground. And then this big good, this is a, this is a baby compared to the first two we did, which are in, uh, in place now. And uh, so once again, 10 mil, uh, six mil, or in this case it's fencing wire, which is another way to go with, especially with round things. So I'll briefly um, say one of the cool things that we've uh, developed is, is uh, this tie wire that you can, um, a, a tool for putting this tie wire on. So I'll, I'll attempt to demonstrate it, how quick it can be. So you, you fold it over, you put it into this, this uh, bolt which has got four holes. So you get any two holes and and it, it holds it and you twist it like that and it takes less than a second to twist it on. So that's just one tip and I think there'll be more <laughs> very soon. 
Thank you.